First you'll need to log in and start your remote session with the Security Compliance Center. Create a credential object and then generate a remote session. Note that the connection URI is different than the one you would usually use when connecting to Exchange Online to manage mailboxes etc. Connect the session and import the commands. As I mentioned earlier, it is possible to create and run the search within PowerShell, so I shall show you the process now and how it compares to doing it through the web interface. You need to define the search query using the new compliant search commandlet. Give it a name, and this can be anything that you like, it's just so that you can refer to the search in later commands. And then specify a location. We're using the exchange location parameter here, but as I said earlier, a compliant search could also be done in SharePoint or other Office 365 locations. The exchange location can be a single mailbox or a distribution group, and you would specify it using either its name or email address. Or, as is the case here, you can search all the mailboxes in an organization by using the location of all. The content match query is the critical parameter here, as it specifies the criteria for the search you want to run. You can specify keywords and search conditions and you'd use the C colon C notation to separate the keywords from the conditions. Having defined the search, you then run a start compliance search to start the search, which will run as a PowerShell job. And you can check on the progress of the job by running get compliance search. To carry out an action on the results of the search, we use the new compliance search action commandlet using the name of the compliance search that we defined at the start of the process. I've run a preview compliance search action here, just so that you can compare the results with that as done through the web interface. And I think the formatting here makes it much more difficult to check whether these are actually the emails you're looking for, and that it doesn't include similar emails that you don't actually want to remove. So to delete the rogue emails, run the new compliance search action command again, and use the search name specified earlier, use the purge parameter and the purge type parameter. The only value that the purge type parameter takes is soft delete. A soft delete will remove the email from all mailboxes, but will still be available on Exchange if you need to retrieve it at a late date. To get the results of the purge, you need to run the get compliant search action commandlet, making sure that you use in the identity parameter the compliant search action, which will be the original search name, followed by underscore purge. Check the results of the purge and you're done. And as always, please remember to close your remote PowerShell session. I hope that you found this snip helpful and thank you for watching.